Hi and welcome to another Nathan's Beer Review. The beer I'm going to be reviewing today brings me a lot of excitement. Um, it's one of Australia's best well-known craft breweries. That is Stone and Wood with their original Pacific Ale. 4.4% alcohol by volume in this 330 milliliter brown stubby. Stone and Wood's Pacific Ale uh, took Australia by storm several years ago when it was released. Um, the craft scene in Australia, especially here in Sydney, wasn't massive. It wasn't, you know, that that well well known and well occupied. Um, don't think that's the right term, but you know. And then all of a sudden, Stone and Wood came out with this Pacific Ale, and it really did take Sydney's beer or Australia's craft beer scene by by storm. You know. Um, you know, Pacific Ale, it's it's light, it's refreshing, it's fruity, it's everything that you need in a climate like Australia. You don't need something massively heavy hops like like an American style pale ale. You need something light and refreshing to deal with a incredibly hot and humid climate. And uh, Stone and Wood tapped into that market with um, the mother of all jackhammers. And before long, it was everywhere. It was in pubs, it was in clubs, it was in restaurants, it was in bars, it was in bottle shops. Um, I don't think they uh, distribute to uh, any of the big macro uh, supermarket um, bottle shops like BWS and Dow Murphy's. I've, I've struggled to see it in, in those bottle shops. Um, but a lot of independent uh, bottle shops do stock it and Stone and Wood are proudly a very independent uh, brewery. They, you know, they're big on sort of craft, they're big on, um, you know, being small batch almost, but, uh, you know, not so small batch that they can't distribute to the whole country. Um, they're based out of Byron Bay, which is a small country town in the Northern Rivers um, area of New South Wales, which is, uh, it's just south of the New South Wales-Queensland border. Byron Bay is a very uh, popular holiday destination. Um, it's also very, um, for want of a better term, hippie. Uh, big, big sort of hippie sort of, you know, sort of scene up there. Very laid back, surfer sort of town. Um, and yeah, you know, if anything, Stoner would have uh, helped to put Byron Bay on the map. If Byron Bay wasn't on the map before, it certainly is now through this beer. Um, what can I? What else can I tell you about Stone and Wood? Um, on the label, it says it's unfiltered with no preservatives, no additives. Born and raised in Byron Bay, brewed and bottled in the Northern Rivers. Um, I think Stone and Wood's popularity means it's actually no longer. This is no longer bottled at the Stone and Wood Brewery, which is in Byron Bay. Um, Byron, uh, the Byron Bay Brewery of Stone and Wood has no affiliation with the Byron Bay Brewery, uh, which I reviewed few days ago with the Byron Bay Breweries Lager. But uh, it also says here, inspired by a home on the edge of the Pacific Ocean, brewed using all Australian barley wheat, uh, barley, wheat and galaxy hops. Pacific Ale is cloudy and golden. It is dry hop to provide a big fruity aroma and refreshing finish. Gently roll this bottle before opening to rouse the yeast, which may have settled over time. So yeah, coming in at 4.4 standard, 4.4 uh, alcohol by volume. 1.1 standard drinks, certified independent. Um, yeah, brewed by Stone and Wood Brewing Company for Baronia Place, Byron Bay, 2481 New South Wales, Australia. So we're going to roll the bottle quickly. Um, you know, a lot of these craft beers, Coopers, recommend rolling the bottle, um, especially when it's, you know, a lot of yeast and sort of secondary fermentation going on. I haven't actually drunk this in a long time. Um, ever since I moved out of the inner west of Sydney uh, towards the southwest, southwestern suburbs of Sydney, it's uh, very hard to find it these days. So very, very keen to try it again. Haven't had it in at least a year. Uh, I'm going to pour it into the Australian Headmaster Schooner Glass, an iconic Australian pub-style schooner. So enough rambling on. Let's crack into this delicious beer. Good smoke on the opening there, guys. The bottle cap for you capheads is a simple golden crown with black stone and wood writing. So yeah, into the glass we go. Excellent, got the whole bottle in in one go. So that looks absolutely 
scullable, to use a very Australian term. It is very light yellow, almost lemon-like in appearance. Almost looks like a glass of lemon squash. Um, it's very cloudy. You can't see through the beer. Um, very hazy, cloudy, with light to medium, decent looking carbonation flowing up to a very soapy white head of which there is one to two fingers of. Yeah, so very light, very tropical looking, um, you know, very lemonade, lemon squash, pub squash sort of looking beer, the aroma. As the beer describes, very citrusy, lemon like, real fresh, freshly squeezed lemon. Light tropical ale notes, passion fruit, little bit of mango. But a real big punch of that lemon citrus aroma that um, is very typical with, with, with Pacific ales and tropical beers, but this definitely has like a fresh lemon, fresh lemonade, you know, fresh lemon, you know, squash, that really um, citrusy acid sort of lemon smell. Anyway, it's really hot here today, so I'm going to dive right in and see how refreshing Stoner Woods Pacific Ale is. Cheers, guys. There's a reason why this took off so popular around Australia. It is so easy drinking. It is really, really easy drinking. You've got this medium carbonation, which, you know, with that, that helps with the, the, the lemon citrus, that notes, which just punch into your mouth from the very, very first sip. It's very light, a little bit watery, but it's like drinking drinking a glass of almost like a a slightly watered down lemon squash. Very light multi sweetness. Those galaxy hops, which are coming through and providing that tropical tropical taste, you know, passion fruit, a little bit of mango. Which sort of just complements the lemon citrus taste throughout the beer. It's very smooth. The lemon citrus is extremely, extremely refreshing. Hence why it's so popular in Australian summers. It's very light, it's very easy drinking, it's very smooth. If you're looking for a beer with big, complex, intense sort of flavours, you're not going to find it in this. Definitely got a, a barley note to it, almost like a a lemon barley cordial. My grandfather used to drink this. What was the brand name? Um, not Kirk's. Um, oh God, what's the? I can't remember. Uh, I think they're owned by Coca-Cola Amatol now. It comes in like a one-liter clear. Anyway, so lemon barley cordial. And you mix it with soda water, a bit of ice, and on a really hot day, it's delicious. Chuck in a couple of shots of gin or something, and you've got yourself the perfect sort of cocktail kind of thing going on. And this this is starting to remind me of that barley lemon cordial sort of flavor. And on a really, really hot summer's day, it is just intensely, intensely refreshing. It has a very nice, dry, mellow finish to it. And it just goes down a real treat on an outrageously hot day. Like I said, there's no intense flavours here. It's light, it's easy drinking, extremely refreshing, with lemon, citrus, barley note flavours. For a, for a Pacific Ale, it really is the clear winner. Out of, out of all the Australian... Um, Pacific Ales are, are. This was really the the one that started off, you know, with Carlton United and Lion deciding that. Oh, hang on, this big craft beer, this craft brewery, sorry, 
but it's taking it by storm. We need to start brewing, you know, light summer and tropical ales to appeal to drinkers. You know, so this this was the sort of industry founder in these here in Australia at least with these tropical style easy drinking summer ales. Um, and without stone and wood, you know, Carlton United and Line would still be trying to just force VB and Carlton Draft and to his new down our throat. So really it's just an excellent industry standard, you know, tropical ale. It's easy drinking, it's light, refreshing, flavorful beer. Um, what am I going to rate it? Stone and Wood Pacific Ale. What can I say? It? I can't really give it any more superlatives than I have already because, you know, look, if if, if, you, if you're coming from a, an area where you, you, you're into your real IPAs, you're into your real APAs, and you want something big, bold, hoppy, malty, punch you in the face, you're not going to find it here because it's not brewed for that. It's brewed for hot Australian summer days, lying on the beach, lying next to the pool, you know, barbecue with friends, in the sun, 35, 40 degree heat, you know, something that's very, very drinkable, and this hits the note, you know. The citrus notes are excellent. The carbonation is excellent. The smoothness just makes it such a very drinkable beer. And I, like I said, I can't rate it high enough. Um, it's a bit expensive, bit on the expensive side. I think a carton goes for about $60, $65. But honestly, it's worth every drop, and you are supporting a local craft brewery. Um, so really, you know, it's worth spending that extra $15, $20 on a carton to drink to drink some very good beers. So I'm going to rate Stone of Woods Pacific Ale, the original Pacific Ale, a solid A. A for Stone of Woods Pacific Ale. Thanks for watching the review, guys. If you liked it, click like, click subscribe. Have you had this beer before? Tell me what you thought of it down in the comments. Um, yeah, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next review. Cheers, guys.